Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Life with Patty and I am here today with our open collab called ATC MDC open collab that is hosted by my sweet friend Bonnie from Bonnie's Corner. Hey Bon Bond and myself and every week it's just to build up your stash of ATC cards and memory decks cards. You can do one, you can do 10, you can do 20, you can do whatever you want. So I did miss last week. Um, and I just want to say with these collabs, if I don't, even the ones I'm hosting, if I don't get there every single week, I try to do the best that I can, okay? I work full time, take care of my husband who's disabled. So sometimes it's hard, you know, and watch the grandson do all his activities and so anyways, um, my plan for this week was I took this wonderful Graphic 45 um, paper pad that I love, and I had the rest of a deck of cards. That's what I use as my template for um, making my ATC cards, and I just glue the paper onto the card because then it gives it a nice, sturdy... Um, you know, background or feel to it. I mean, it's nice and sturdy. So my goal for tonight was that I was going to finish off this deck of cards. Well, Patty is a little bit ADD and I just couldn't focus on it tonight. So I, what I was going to do was fill all these in with paper. And then next week I was going to do all the embellishing. Well, I, you, as you can see, I still have quite a bit of the deck left, but um, I did get some done. I'll show you that. And then I also want to show you inside this paper pad. So um, here's the first one. Sunflowers on one side. And like a yellow on the other side. And this one has like stars on this side. And on this side was a cutout that was in the paper pad. And it's almost perfect just as is. So I don't know, you guys tell me, would you use this at the, as the front and use this as your back? Or would you use this as the back, as the front and embellish it and then use this as the back? Let me know what you guys would do, okay? That was the second one. Um, I loved this one with the little blue polka dots on blue. And then this was the fairy paper on that side. This one, again, was like with the stars on this side, and then this was another cutout. So again, I wanna know, would you use this as your front, or would you use that as your back? Take this as your front and embellish it, okay? And then I had this one that was really cute with sunflowers on this side, and sunflowers on that side. And then this one had the fairies and the horses, unicorns on this side. And this wonderful dreamer of dreams is what it says on there. It looks like a wallpaper on that side. So that's what I got done. So I got done one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll have six to embellish next week. Um, now I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm building up so many. And then Sheila from Country Girl first told me that she has over 150 or something. And I was like, okay, I don't feel so bad anymore. I, I can still build up my stash. But this is a great graphic 45. It's called Dreamland. I don't even, even know if you can still uh, buy it. But you can cut out these little cut aparts. I don't know what I would do with this, but I feel like I need to do something with this. And then on the background, you have your stars. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have the stars. But you get three of three of them. So I used one. And then there's that one that I used for the cards. And on the back is the yellow. Like I said, and then you get three of them, three sheets. And then here's the wonderful unicorns and then on the back you have that wonderful paper that looks like wallpaper and then also they gave you 
some borders. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with those yet. If you have any ideas, let me know. And then that was on the back of the borders. <clears throat> and then I did not get to this one. And on the back is this paper. So this was the paper. Oh, and here in the back is some more cut aparts. So I love all these cut aparts. So one, well, there's only two that would fit an ATC card and then some smaller ones. So this is a great paper pad. And then I also had pulled out, I had pulled out two paper pads. So I thought I'm gonna go to town, but part of it is because I'm doing this after work and I'm tired and I had kind of a, I don't know, I, I just had kind of a rough day. Sometimes you can't pick your fellow coworkers, you know what I mean? Um, but I had this one, which is the Magic, Magic Love from Frank Garcia. And it's a beautiful paper pad as well. So I was thinking about using some of these in here too. But I don't know. This one would look really good with something in the middle and decoupage it. Actually. Same with this one you could put, or just have a picture of like my grandkids and then scrapbook it or put it in a frame. Look at this paper over here. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Yeah, I love this paper pad. Use these for cards. Look how pretty that is. So I didn't even get to this paper pad, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna try to work on some this weekend. So maybe I'll feel the love a little bit more. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, all right. Uh, go hashtag that ATC MDC open collab. Check out everybody else's uh, projects and what they completed this week. And thank you Bon Bon for hosting this collab with me. All right, you guys have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.